this video, we will demonstrate how to engage the pump and begin flowing water from the onboard tank before switching to a hydrant supply. Shift the truck to neutral and apply the spring brake. Move the pump shift lever from road to pump, pausing momentarily in the middle. You will see a green light illuminate on the pump shift panel. The pump engaged dash light will also illuminate. Now shift the transmission back into drive. You will see the transmission select fourth gear. The pump engaged light will illuminate on the pump shift panel and the OK to pump dash light will illuminate. You should also be able to hear the audible engagement of the pump beginning to turn and the speedometer will increase to 20 kilometers per hour. Exit the cab using three points of contact, wearing the appropriate safety equipment. Place the wheel chocks and create a safe working area using pylons if required. Ensure the throttle ready light on the governor control panel is illuminated. Fully open the tank to pump and crack the tank fill valve to begin recirculating water. Select RPM mode on the governor control panel and increase to between 1000 to 1200 RPM for priming the pump if required. Pull the primer until a pump discharge is indicated on the pump discharge indicator. Select pressure mode. Communicate with the hand line that they are ready for water. Ensure the hose bed is empty and verify the correct discharge is selected before opening. Set the required pump discharge pressure using the increase and decrease buttons. And confirm the correct discharge pressure is shown on the discharge pressure gauge. Now that water is flowing from the onboard tank, you must quickly attach the hydrant supply line and transition to hydrant water before the onboard water supply is exhausted. Once connected, communicate with the hydrant operator that you are ready for water. Bleed out the air through the bleeder valve and open the appropriate master intake valve. You will hear the truck idle down as the hydrant pressure is introduced to the pump. A pump intake pressure will register on the intake gauge. Note this pressure as we will need this to determine how much water we can flow from this hydrant. Now operating from a hydrant supply, we can close the tank to pump and slowly open the tank fill valve to replenish the onboard tank. Monitor the residual pressure on the intake gauge, making sure it does not drop below 20 PSI. 140 kilopascals. To shut down, idle down by pressing the idle button. Close your discharges and master intake valve. Recirculate water by fully opening tank to pump and cracking the tank fill. To take the pump out of gear, shift the transmission back to neutral. Move the pump shift lever back to road pausing momentarily in the middle. Close your remaining valve and remove your chocks. Don't forget to complete your walk around before leaving the scene. This completes our video training on transitioning from the onboard tank to a hydrant water supply. Thanks for watching.